crazy to believe that all of our drinking water comes out of the Detroit River. I know some people who won't even swim in it, let alone drink it. But the reality is, after multi-million dollar water plants get involved, what we get is clean drinking water. That's right. The Detroit River is the source of our water. But you can't just pull this. No, it starts with giant pumps drawing water into large facilities like this one along Jefferson. So right now you're looking at three filters. Cheryl Porter is taking us throughout the plant, which goes through countless phases. That includes adding chemicals through a process known as flash mixing. Water comes out, hitting this wall fast. <laughs> Meanwhile, an additive is causing smaller particles to clump so they can easily remove it. Several things happening at once. Everything is contained in this one site. And that is a change, part of a streamlining that came with this process. Porter shows me how the water is rapidly becoming more and more clear. The solids are going to come in contact with these plates and slide down and settle at the bottom, and we'll clean that later. And then your clean, fresh water is coming off the top. But at a time we see pollutants enter our rivers and streams, the same streams that empty into the river, I ask her, how is the business of cleaning this water going? They're concerned for what's going into the river these days and what you have to get rid of before it gets to that end product? Uh, I think the concern is that the treatment or the sampling technology and testing that we're doing is getting to smaller and smaller concentrations. Pair that with chemists working 24-7, a redundancy to their automated testing. You quickly realize that sending millions of gallons to 40% of the state's population is no small task. From intake to filtering and carefully tested chemicals, that trip to your tap is no small feat. If you want to know more about the drinking water that's making it to your home, I'm breaking it down for you on WXYZ.com. More of the tour can be found there. For 7 Action News, I'm Matthew Smith.